going to do a craft with me and we're going to do the tea bags the dried tea bags vintage trick <laughs> here's some that I have done in the past obviously in the past um, I'll show you these and then I'll show you how I did these it's very early the heat is back so I am up early everyone else is asleep but I am up early and I hope you are awake too <laughs> as you watch this video so these are What are you guys doing? Okay. I, okay, I saw this video. Uh, Natasha at Treasure Books on YouTube has a video on how to turn magazine images into vintage photos using dried tea bags. And so it's one of those videos where you watch it and a light bulb goes off. It's like, that's the best thing I've ever seen. And it really was. <laughs> so, let's see. These, these guys go here. I don't know what they were doing in that, that envelope. That's something different. And so what I have done is I've taken my catalogs. I've taken travel magazines. These little guys. These are tea bags, but they're not dried they're just emptied it was not very really nice tasting tea <laughs> so I turned them into um, slides that's a Tim Holtz stamp of a fly and then I got a couple of those that's another project that's another project. so yeah so I took my magazine and catalog images these guys have tea bags under underneath underneath the ephemera on the there's a catalog image and for some reason when I glued it to this is a a um, drink box can cardboard it sort of faded it just I lost it I lost the image this one underneath there you wouldn't be able to really see what was under there but there's a an, a catalog image or a magazine image and a tea bag and <clears throat> so because this one you can see a little bit oh well, there's a little bit what's going on there so what I did instead was um, I just didn't throw them away I just covered them with little sayings and little bits of fabric and things like that these let's see these guys here this is um, magazine somebody I don't know who it is I, I should have written on the back but he's I think he was a guitarist or something and this one is some crazy night. <laughs> I just went all out. And this, it's a Canada Dry box again. And this time I used my tiny attachers and just, cause it wouldn't stick. It, it, it just, it did, the things just didn't want to stay down. <laughs> these these uh, shiny, shiny leaves here, they didn't want to stay down so I just, you know I'll show you and I just stapled them all on there but that's um, a little collage I did and then this one is from a catalog and I added fabric and ephemera and that's all um, tea bag dried tea bag over that so I think this one I <laughs> what is it oh here it is this one was on, on I backed it onto a um, paper bag, and I almost lost the image. 
So that was an experiment. And it's a, a lady sitting at a table and um, can barely, I don't know if you can see it better in the camera or not, but anyway, that's what happened there. And this one, again, with paper bag experiment, this is a cafe and it just, you know, I'll still use it, but I'm going to have to embellish it because you just, I don't know. So I wouldn't recommend really backing it on, on, uh, I don't, I think these are just, um, for some reason they didn't show up either. So I wouldn't recommend backing it on, on a uh, paper bag, but you know, you just, you just fool around with stuff and see what happens. Now these, let's get these out of the way now. There's some more bugs. There's some more. Oh. Okay, so these I have done uh, there with, um, I think these are all travel images. And I turned them into little postage stamps. This is just a wash tub. See if I can hold that up right. Where's the camera? Is this a little wash tub? And I used a cancel stamp. And oh yeah, I had to make the wavy lines. I didn't have a stamp for that yet, so I just used a a, a permanent marker sharpie and went in and just made the wavy cancel lines. And this is a. Uh, this was from a, a, I don't know, let's just say catalog, because I don't know if it's a kangaroo. And then I have this one. I fixed them. I fixed them, yeah. I glued them to the back of cardstock and uh, distressed inked them. Let's see, here's a, here's a bigger one. I've used a lot of these in my journal, so there I don't have as many now. This one is a couple of tea bags just just uh, hammered together there, <laughs> just experimenting. Make like a little postcard. Let's see what else we have. This is a this one it has a can. They're all just they're all just made to be like post postage stamps canceled postage stamps and uh, these are uh, pretty much my first my first dip into it um, so I was just trying to figure out what I was doing or what I should use what what to do and I have again my trusty uh, uh, decorative edge scissors this one is Fiskars. I don't know what it's called, but see, I got it at a thrift store, 50 cents. And it cuts this edge, cuts the, the notches, so it looks like postage stamp. And you can, you can either, you know, if you have deco edge scissors, you can use them. If you have a die cut, you can put it through uh, you know, metal. There's 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 die cuts now that look like stamps, or you can just cut it with your scissors. You know, it doesn't have to be a fancy edge for it to work. So what I have found now is that the darker the picture, the harder it is to see. But this one has white because of Santa's beard and hat. And as I was going along, I realized that the lighter pictures, like this one here, um, make better stamps. When this was bright colors, and I put the, the tea bag on it, and um, it just shows up better. The, so if you find your images, look for the ones that are lighter. This one like this. 
because then you'll be able to see after you put the tea bag on you'll be able to see what what the image is okay so let me show you show you how to do this get these guys out of the I way. have over here just my isn't that lovely <laughs> make sure I don't know you see people like, here's my special box for this. And I love boxes. If my mom were still, still with us, she would tell you how much I love boxes. I have loved boxes my whole life, but here's what I've done with my precious tea, tea bags. So, say you make a cup of tea. <laughs> and when you let the tea bags sit out and dry out, then you can open it up and dump the tea out. And I try to put it into a little cup or something. Then my husband takes it out and puts it on the, the rose bushes. And um, then you have this stuff. You have your tea bags, and depending on what kind of tea you have, tea bags can be very, very dark, like this. You can see, very dark, or lighter. Let's see, like an herbal tea. I have some of those, something like this. See, it's very light. This one is very interesting with the lines. I like that. And I have all kinds of shapes. I've got the round ones. I've got the square ones. Um, I've seen people use the big, somebody, somebody, this is a couple of years ago maybe, somebody said, well at work we have these huge, uh, we make this big pot of tea or something and then have these huge tea bags and so I mean it was just this huge <laughs> I don't know how big but it was a pretty big tea bag and that was cool because then you could you know cover a really large image with that it takes a few days for the tea to dry I just set it out on the counter in a in a like a tray or a cup or not a cup but a lid that's right a lid these are some napkins that found their way into the magic envelope get some napkins here's some lighter ones nice it's a bigger tea bag too I save sometimes I save the tag off the tea bags and oh here's here's a coffee this is a coffee you know like when when you went to hotels <laughs> if it had a coffee maker these are the coffee maker coffee bags and I used I brought them home and I use the coffee in my coffee machine in my regular filter and then I, I take the coffee out first and then put put it into to my machine. Here's a little lighter color. What I don't know. What tea or whatever was in that. Here's a bigger coffee one. Round ones. Those will be fun in a project. And let's see. I think I want to keep that one out. Here's some more postage stamp <laughs> the backing when I make postage stamps. And I even save the little tiny pieces sometimes when I cut off. There's some more scrapbook paper. Yay, I'm, I need scrapbook paper. I don't know what that is. Here's a here's a, a napkin on an image. So there's a lot of color going on behind there, but then I put the black and white napkin on there so you only see little peaks of, of color. All right, I'm getting off topic. Okay, so let me get the rest of this out of the way. See, like this, this right here, 
that would make a really nice image because even though there's a dark edge there's light on that that brick wall in the back this would be good the the cruise ship this one what is that oh it's like a hotel section and then this one I would use oops fly possibly for a uh, cover it and then use it for a um, tag. Cut it down, make it into a tag. So it doesn't look like it came from a catalog. <laughs> the library might have some free magazines. You could probably get them from there. Friends, family, tell them you need you. <laughs> Just tell me, what do you read? <laughs> What, you, what magazines are you reading? And, and you know, oh, that sounds that sounds interesting. Can I? Could, if when when you're done with that, can I have that? You don't have to tell them what you're gonna do. <laughs> because some people don't understand. <laughs> you you, you want to do you what? You're gonna what now? You're gonna you're gonna glue tea bags to the. You're gonna you're gonna what? <laughs> you're gonna glue, it's just easier just to, you know, I, I would like to, <laughs> I like to read that. That sounds interesting. <laughs> then you have, then you have your, your free. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to use this because I like it. And I have, let's see, what size. Now, because they're all together like that, I can just kill two birds with one tea bag and just go like that and then take another one and then, you know just just so you get well this is a little short but just just so you get the get the image covered and this part here the the me um embossed edge where they've closed the tea bag up. I'm just gonna cut that off. I've have I have mod podged that but I don't I don't recommend it. It doesn't really like it doesn't really like glue away. <laughs> it's still there. So I can go like that and I've got those things covered. Alright. All right, all right. I've got my Mod Podge in my little cup. And guess what? The lid came off because <laughs> I did that before I turned on the camera. I'm always thinking now, you know, trying to improve, trying to improve. All right. But where did I put? I know. Oh, here it is. I got a brush. Okay, so we are going to, we as in me, just take a little bit of Mod Podge. I've tried this with putting uh, Elmer's glue or school glue first, and that works. It just takes longer for it to dry. And then, and then putting the tea bag down and then putting the Mod Podge on top to seal it. And this is matte, matte Mod Podge, but I'm gonna use this today because I need it to dry faster. Dry faster, dry faster. So. Let's find the side we're gonna, oh, don't double that. So I just put the tea bag down. Did I say how long it takes to dry? It'll take about, depending on your humidity factor, it might take about a week or less for them to dry out. And then you open them up, take the tea out as best you can. And then put them in a receptacle. <laughs> no, one area. 
so you can find them. So this one had the stain in the middle and the point of this is to make a modern you know I got him right make a modern image look vintage so even if that stain in the middle of the tea bag may obscure the image somewhat that's the point if we just wanted it to be completely visible I wouldn't use tea bag. Yeah, no, no. Alrighty. It's so quiet right now in the house. It's all it's weird because I used to be the one that slept later. I was not a morning person. And Things change when you get older. <laughs> I don't know. We joke around that we should probably get chickens because uh, we're up. <laughs> we're up early. <laughs> Although we don't have any place for chickens. Now look you. You're not going to ruin this hair craft I'm doing. Stubborn. That's going to get cut off anyway when I cut the image. Okay, so there's that. It needs to dry. But that's that's about as easy as, as it can be. Put this over here for a minute. So, so once it's dry and oh, this one seems to not want to Cooperate. I think I might need to put some more on there. Try to make sure you've got you've got the. I don't know. Maybe I should just change that, huh? If it's not going to work, it's not going to work, and I'm not going to fight it. Let's get a different one. If you if what was I saying? got holes in it. Alright. I guess Kitty didn't want to be on a behind a dark panel. Um, try to make sure that you've got glue over the image completely and over the tea bag completely. I'm going to rub this down. So that there's no lift. Once it's dry, it's kind of hard to get back in there and get it down and not have some sort of weird glue effect. So just try to make sure it's all saturated. And I wouldn't recommend using any heat on it to try to speed up the drying. Just, you know, be patient. <laughs> go, go away, do something else. And then come back. Okay, that works better. Yeah. Yeah. So once these are dry, I can cut them out. And continue. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to add this. I did a journal with me video and I lost the footage. You know, technical difficulties. But anyway, this is how I used my tea bag kitty that came from this stack. You know, this stack he was under. I used my tea bag kitty and I made a journal page. It says, Him your blessings with thankfulness so they don't unravel. That's kind of ironic because the whole thing unraveled. 
<laughs> the video. But anyway, here's here's uh, one way to use it without having to back it on the cardstock. Um, I just glued it into the to the scrapbook page. It's sturdy, so it can take it. And anyway. That's the project for the tea bags. I hope that you'll give it a try. And if you do, please tag me on Instagram. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.